Francis Bacon, the Irish abstract figurative painter, is not for everyone. To see his retrospective at the Metropolitan Museum of Art, you have to have a strong stomach. Cutting through all the crap written about him over the decades, his works are full of depravity, perversity, and horror. Like painting, 1946, no subject matter, open carcasses of bleeding beef, a screaming man, this shocker made his career. For some inexplicable reason, Bacon became obsessed with Diego Velasquez, Pope Innocent X of 1653, but he transforms that crafty Pope into a symbol of terror. Bacon is one of the few artists in history whose works are downright puzzling, but nonetheless compelling. Like the works of Hieronymus Bosch, his hell, or Matthias Grunewald, Bacon loved both artists. This is a triptych, very medieval, of 1963. His lover, George Dyer. Bacon told me that he came back from gambling and drinking one late night into his studio and saw Dyer robbing it. He immediately fell in love, and they were together for seven years. This work looks like a pleasant abstract painting, kind of Rothko-esque, but it's sick. Bacon told me a story that he had a police radio in his studio and he listened. And every time there was a terrible accident on some throughway, he'd rush to see the blood on the ground and on the pavement. This is blood on the pavement. Bacon never painted from life. He painted from photographs. He'd take a photograph of himself and then crumple it up and paint the crumples. Some critics say his late works are weak and formulaic. I agree, so avoid them. Is he great? Will he last? For someone who doesn't mind depravity and perversity in art, I'd say yes.